This is Rob from Higher Powered H2O. Um, last day for uh, any videos from Oregon. Um, today is Thursday. We'll be heading out Friday to California. You can see the shop's getting pretty empty. Um, this is one of the new styles of cell <clears throat> that's in production now. Um, this is what I currently have on the Suburban. Um, it's got the soldered terminals um, and the tabs and um, and uh, great for benchtop experimenting but uh, found it to be quite a pain in the rear to mount it in small cars. Uh, so I kind of switched over to this version. Um, much cleaner, a little harder to assemble initially, um, but it's exactly what it is, an installer cell uh, for something that's going to go in a car and, and stay there. Um, not uh, claiming any wild numbers and, you know, any, any promises on <clears throat> miles per gallon gains. Um, that's all in the end user and the tuner. Um, when I install personally um, and people hire just you know there is a no risk situation and um, if no mileage gains uh, are obtainable on a vehicle then they uh, you know you take the cell off and there's no charge to them at all haven't had it happen yet um, I will tell you that there is some cars that uh, will fight you tooth and nail, uh, especially your newer ones. Um, they don't like this fuel. Uh, the Suburban, no PWM. Um, you can see it down there, there's a 80 amp continuous duty relay, four gauge wiring. Um, the cell is mounted underneath the bumper. Uh, very crude um, reservoir. Um, but it holds just about three gallons. Um, and then my my flashback arrester that you saw in the video is also down in here. Um, bubblers and uh, flashback arresters are in process. Um, also, the plans to build these cells are uh, being compiled, and they will be put in a PDF. Um, the gasket material is EPDM, durometer of 50, uh, which is a little soft, um, it's forgiving, uh, doesn't leak, uh, I used, I've tried neoprene, duro 60, and PVC, and uh, a bunch of different gasket materials and found the uh, duro 50 EPDM uh, to be the favorite. Now, when you assemble a cell, you do have to be careful on you know how tight you tighten it because being that soft you can get inconsistent gaps um, you know there's a, a bunch of different methods you can you know count threads on each bolt use an inch pound torque meter um, it's uh, there, there's a lot of ways that you can you can do it um, I run them uh, just a, about an eighth turn past finger tight run the cell, heat it up, uh, purposely run it at about 100 amps, let it get nice and hot, let everything relax, let it cool down, check for leaks. Uh, if no leaks uh, happen, then I, I jam nut it. Uh, I don't use the nylock nuts because your torques uh, are too inconsistent. Um, jam nut work method is, is sufficient. Um, in fact, this cells been jam nutted. You can see the two nuts on each bolt. Um, and as far as I've got a lot of questions about EFIs, um, it can be a useful tool. Uh, I recommend not using them and it's simply a, uh, a suggestion. If, if you don't really understand how the EFI works, and you don't have EGT gauges and you can't watch your fuel trims and you can't really truly see what's happening in an engine uh, it's very dangerous I do not use it on this rig um, 
I did some mileage numbers on this last night. I'm pushing three liters a minute. Um, pulling my trailer, which is very heavy and a big kite. Uh, the mileage on this Suburban without HHO is about 14. Uh, and that's just a mixed driving scenario. Um, pulling the trailer without HHO is 6.8 miles per gallon. And with HHO, it's 8.3. So it's about 23, almost 23% increase. Um, pretty noticeable amount of torque, bottom end. Uh, this poor engine's got 200,000 miles on it. It's one of the most inefficient pieces of garbage that GM ever produced. Throttle body, 350. Um, I'm gonna, before this uh, engine gets retired, it will get the mega squirt on it and see if, uh, you know, my standalone theory will work out, which I'm sure it will. Um, I have a 79 Suburban, same thing, four wheel drive. Uh, it's got a stroker engine that I purpose built uh, for high torque, low RPM and it gets 19 miles to the gallon with a Holley 750 double pumper, a true double pumper. Um, so I will be also doing a little spin-off later on on just obtaining better fuel mileage period engine wise. Um, the goal for this truck is 25 miles to the gallon. Um, I already know that I'll attain 20 with just my engine. Um, and then five or more uh, with the uh, HHO. Um, it'll all be done with computer and I'd, I don't want to do the band-aid deal. Um, I just think the band-aids are uh, just asking for trouble from the general public. Um, you know if you're, a, if you're an auto tech or you know something of that nature and you really do understand what's going on um, you don't want to put a computer in it by all means do it um, I already know that you don't need it um, on certain vehicles um, I have seen it benefit a, a 2001 Hyundai um, but it, it was a lot of tuning a lot of fine you know watching the EGT gauge and watching fuel trims and uh, making sure the power wasn't dropping off and um, I actually tuned that many months ago um, before I did the EFI tests. Um, so I hope that answers a little bit of the questions on the EFIs. Uh, you know, they're like anything, you know, they're like a gun. You know, you can you can use them to, as, as, a, as a useful tool or uh, they can be very destructive. Um, what else? Well, so Burbank, I'm coming. Um, also in the works, uh, a couple different universities are wanting to do some testing with, uh, with uh, you know, my methods here. Uh, so we're going to get some unbiased, real-life um, results, which this really needs. Um, and everybody who's bought the cells from uh, H2O burn, H, <laughs> HHO to burn, uh, I appreciate it. This is helping fund this research. Um, the, uh, there will be two more new cells coming out within the next week. Um, you've seen the diamond cell and there's um, another one in, on the testing bench right now. Um, and it looks to be very promising and it just solves a lot of the install uh, issues you know this cell if you don't get this thing plumb and square it runs into flow problems um, I don't like that as an installer the diamond solves these you can they can kind of be tilted and off camber and not true and plumb and it's still gonna funnel to the one corner the next cell will be the same um, the next cell um, will be even easier to install than the diamond. So that's for the, the market that I'm going after and uh, uh, thanks for all the comments and uh, you know suggestions and um, uh, you know thanks, thanks for the subscriptions and uh, look forward to reading more and uh, giving you guys some more valuable information. Um, 
I am learning. Uh, this is uh, very new to everybody, um, but it does work. Thank you.